G'day guys, Sci-Fi back again with another action figure review. Not Star Wars, yep, definitely over the whole Triple Force Friday idea and we'll just start getting stuff online. But I managed to, if you saw my recent video, um, managed to pick this up, uh, Rogon from McFarlane Game of Thrones figures. Very cool. Again, we'll mention that. Yeah, so you can't be over, you've got to be over 12 to buy this. But I love this Game of Thrones television series, specifically designed to be viewed by adults and therefore maybe unavailable for people under the age of 18. Anyways, so uh, there we go. I have a few of these, if, if you know. Um, I have all the new McFarlane ones couple of the Dark Horse Deluxe ones, which are very cool, and very rare, and these are actually becoming rare. Now, I went back again to uh, Zing Pop Culture uh, the day after Force Friday, which is where I picked this up from, and not another one was ever seen, and that was exactly like when I got um, Viserion, the other dragon. Yep, never seen it since in its box at the store. So yay, got that. And it's definitely, it's not a bad figure. Um, it's definitely not to scale. This is, uh, I was gonna say Stan says, but my wife has my Stanley um, tape measure in a bag because we're getting new furniture and she didn't manage to Get it out, so she's going to have this damn heavy Stanley tape measure there. But it's got a great wingspan. It can be displayed two ways. So if we see it the way it is here, if you look down on the base plate, there's a hole there. This pin holds it up. It can be displayed the way Viserion is displayed. Wings down, flames out. But <clears throat> no flame on Drogon. So that's okay. So, and plus I don't want to display them both the same way. Not that cool. So yeah. But anyways, there we are. Drogon, that's the one that Daenerys Targaryen rides. It's her steed, so to speak. It's not bad. Those... The wings there are so stiff, I didn't honestly think they'd move. Yeah, I'm looking at like a probably probably a foot long wide. It's definitely not a Balrog. That's a nice looking figure. It'll go in well. Oh, match as well. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Also looks to be right out there, so to speak. Yeah, it's gotta find a way to fit it. Anyway, got a fit in my collection. It's a very nice piece. McFarlane. Hopefully release a few more. Wouldn't mind seeing some of the more colourful characters. The mountain. Oh, let's see. Maybe one of the giants. That'd be cool. To scale. That'd be nice. See what I mean by to scale. Here's the normal. There's you. The mother of dragons, Daenerys. Daenerys, sorry. Yeah. That's the scale you have. Basic. She's about a six, seven inch fallen figure. So there we are. So, I don't know. Are they going to make the third dragon? Well, it starts with R, Rayonas, or something like that. I forget. Drop a comment down below. I forget the name. Yeah, it's very expansive, very 3D, tail doesn't move. I had more problems with Viserion than I did with this one. The head would, was coming off and this was that and whatnot. All I had was stiff joints to get the wings apart. <laughs> All right, uh, yep, got money down, buying online. Don't know how much this thing would cost online these days, but yeah, I only found it the one in the store. It was actually quite funny. 
went back to the store the next day after Force Friday and I asked, is there any more of those Drogons? And they went, nope, I've got the only one. That was cool. And plus, if you remember from my Force Friday, when I said the guy had 14 cases missing, he got them all, and they're all Funko Pops. God damn it. All right, okay. So waiting for some furniture to get delivered. <laughs> uh, that's about it. Hope you like, yeah. Nice sweet box. What's with all these boxes all bubbling out and stuff? I don't know. Anyways, I'm not going to ramble on. Right, I'm trying to get in as close as I can. Very quick before I leave. Very nice. All right, guys. Sci-fi out. Game of Thrones will be out on Blu-ray DVD. For all your binge watching adventures in December. Alright, and I'll see you hopefully in a couple of days. Alright, later then.